<clears throat> well, good morning, good evening, good day, good afternoon to everybody out there in the world. We are living in the verse, and this is Anno 1800. This is the game. If you watched, uh, if you watched my other video for Furthest Frontier, this is the game that I mentioned. The other game. Uh, <clears throat> I played through this a, a few times. It's, I'd say, for me, it's it's challenging to to balance everything that needs to be balanced. It's, uh, man. it's, uh, it's daunting to say the least. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Um, we're going to start out a new game. Um, you can see I've already done some stuff, but this is a creative mode. I had to make some stamps. Just a few stamps, just to kind of make things a little bit easier. Uh, this is a vanilla playthrough because my uh, acquisition was less than legit. Uh, I can't put any mods on this, which is, I guess, kind of good. But um, that's that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Um, if I end up liking it really, you know, a lot, and you know, something I'll, I'll get into playing a lot more, then that will change, where I can actually mod it out and try some of the mods and skins and things and stuff that people have been uh, putting up on. Uh, Nexus and whew, putting up on Nexus and Steam. So, without any further ado, uh, one of the things that I really wanted to do was like um, do the uh, do this. What is the scenarios? I haven't seen scenarios yet. Oh, let's see. Ah see okay okay so that's the scenarios thing okay cool uh, we're gonna do a new game now the campaign the campaign is basically just a story mode it's an extended tutorial um, what it does is uh, it kind of introduces you to the game give you all the little tips and tricks hints and stuff like that uh, there are some story elements involved um, Uh, it, it leads right into the sandbox mode. So what I'm thinking is, is we're probably going to do the campaign because this is just a new thing, uh, a new channel, new series, new episode, all that kind of good stuff. And uh, we're going to start out, you know, doing doing the, um, the, the, st the story modes and stuff like we did in uh, Stranded Alien Dawn. We did the scenarios. The sandbox is kind of like if you want to do like a let's play or some you know some shit like that but i mean honestly this is kind of a let's play but you know you know you know so we're gonna do we're gonna do campaign mode. and we'll 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 pause and do all the um like all the cutscenes and everything uh, we'll just we'll go through it you know step by step you know piece by piece as we go uh, more guidance, less guidance. Well, since I've already gone through this, and if you clicked on it, you probably have heard of it. Um, we're gonna do less guidance because I'm familiar enough. I don't need all that other like helpful tips and tricks and all that kind of junk. So we'll go through that. Ow! Picking out our portrait. So this is single player mode, and yes, I got all the Ubisoft stuff unlocked and all of the. Um, the portraits that you can get unlocked that you can get unlocked at this point uh that's a new one hmm. interesting so you could be a pirate Arr, me matey so we can go with let's see this guy he kind of reminds me of john cleese which is kind of cool Oh. oh dear twin sister all oh, these are achievement unlocked okay i see gotcha 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 so i'm thinking i'll just kind of stick with the with the regular shit right here and uh sam neil um I'm, i like this guy he, he's got a kind of a cool portrait he's he looks a little piratey so we'll, we'll go with that and sticking with the piratey stuff 
Let's go and give him some uh, skull and crossbones and fly the Jolly Roger. Let's see, oh, right, no, oh, no. Nice, and I know what, purple? Mmm. Give him royal blue? Nah, it kind of clashes. Let's just stay black. black. On black. Okay, let's do that. I got all of this stuff all unlocked. Um, we'll go ahead and. Whoa, 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 whoa. Back, 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 back. Player name? No, oh, no. We'll call him. Anton. How about Anton Blackwell? Sounds like a good enough handle. All right, so let's go over here and uh, we'll customize our settings. Uh, seed, pretty much. Okay, so our map type and our starting world size is large in the archipelago because you can't really do anything with that until you get into like the sandbox stuff. You make a sandbox game because these are story components. Uh, characters. What? Oh, choose your competitors. <clears throat> okay. We can choose our competitors. <laughs> So, Princess King. I'm about. I like Bente. Are you just itching to leap into the beyond? Oh, absolutely, Bente. And then we'll do Hugo. Oh, he likes. He's an anarchist, huh? He, he likes to fuck around. Okay. Only wibbliists call me a soft target, and I suffered it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then for our third one, because Beryl, Beryl Omara, she's really aggressive. So this is going to be like, I'll put it on easy mode and we'll take Princess King. If I'm commissioned, I will paint you a story in broad strokes. Yeah, broad strokes. Faction customization. Do we want... Uh, just one, one pirate. Yep. Inactive upkeep. If enable factories, farms, and workshops will cost a certain upkeep even when they're Production is cost. No, 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 no. We'll keep that the same. Uh, construction cost of refunds. Uh, B. No, 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 no. Okay, full. We'll keep it on full. Uh, building relocation on. Yes, trading post restocks common. Uh, city incidents is easy. It's fine. Frequency, quest frequency common. Influence high. Skyscraper upkeep low. Starting conditions, yeah, yeah, yeah. Reveal map. Um, determines whether you start with fully explore or not. No, 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 no. Reveal map is all. No. And victory conditions is this. Okay. So we got all of that. It's it's pretty pretty basic. Not real cheaty cheaty. Mick Cheaterson. Mick Cheaty face. All right, so let's go ahead and let's uh, let's ride this pony. Since that day you saved my life, I have presumed I knew you. But now. A thousand letters from your father go unopened, yet one scribbled from your sister changes everything. I didn't even know you had a sister. We are broke, old pal. We can't afford a passage back to your old world, back to your family. Not unless you suddenly remembered what work is. 
dynamite fishing? You're serious? <laughs> well, the village north is always short on food. Remember when we escaped the pits back when? Still some dynamite left. All right, all right, here we go, here we go. We got us a letter. You never told me you had a sister. What else haven't you told me about? Probably quite a bit. <laughs> Don't look at me. Dynamite was your idea. Yeah? Oh, I'm a Here it is. Just get plenty of distance on the throw. Ah, so we gotta go blow up the fish. Nice. So they're like, can we get them all at the all in one shot. Unity. After all, it's not TNT the locals are short of. <laughs> oh well. Still trying to get used to that smell of char. Oh, what the chimichurri was that boom? All the blistered fish they could ever want. Yeah, blistered fish. That first bang, I knew it was you. So come show me what you got this time. How about some pre cooked? Ah, that burnt reek. Ugh. Hand over whatever it is and I'll help you get rid of it. Here are your tickets. Hurry, drifters. The boat is leaving soon, and nobody wants you to miss it. <laughs> Funny guy. So, this is it. We're leaving paradise behind. You never talked much about family and the like. But you're dead serious about this, aren't you? No matter. I made a vow to defend you. And I don't break an oath. Even if a blind man could see you leap into the deepest pit of dung. I have never asked anything of you, Firstborn. Not when you stole away a tiptoe, leaving the family burden at your little sister's door. Our father oh, is accused of high treason. Dare you to believe it? Will you now stand I by? Am terribly no gentle father is in dungeon. It must kill him. Please come home. We need you. Is it really you, dearest sibling? I never dared hope you'd return. Do you remember Bright Sands? Of course you do. We loved it here. It's changed now. The Royal Council support Uncle Edvard. Father barely cold, and he's pulling everything down. Those houses. You never said how wealthy you were. <laughs> Why were we selling fish and sleeping in barns? Never told your friend of good and sons. There is much to be said, but not now. Dear father's funeral begins. Well, 
where have you been? Without you brats, we'll never be done with this obligation. Looks like Dev claimed the wrong brother. No matter, so few are here, when they are the few he loved most. Nobody likes a traitor, let alone his tainted offspring. Better make yourself scarce. We shall, dear sibling, for now. I have acquired a small island with the last of my funds, and passage for all still loyal to father. Together, we shall clear his name, or die trying. Your sister reminds me of you. Must mean new adventures await, old pal. This is it. Ditch water. End of the world. I hope you like it quiet. <laughs> Chapter One, Tale of Two Brothers. What? Still here? Establishing a rival company on that disheveled island? Mm -hmm. Let yes. Uncle Edvard scoff. A modest island, yes, but if you're at all like father, you'll look beyond appearances. We must shelter the good, loyal people who have shown solidarity with our family. We need every hand we can get if we are to expunge this debris. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> so we got to we got to build us ten residences, attract fifty farmers, and make one marketplace. Alright, so let's get the marketplace out there first. We'll, uh, let's go ahead and set it right there. Uh we'll build some roads. Get us a road. Alright, so we got a road straight to the dock. Alright, so we got ruins around here. So here's the thing. Go. A lot of these we can we can pick up right now. No, we don't need to wait. Some of them are, are story driven, so we gotta grab them as the story unfolds. But most of them, no. So those are bricks, we can't do nothing until we get bricks. Uh, okay. So now we got wood. Giggity, giggity. Right. So now we need to build us some houses. We got 20 lumber. So let's get on these houses here. Right. Do you remain here out of spite? Or is this some futile attempt at competition? As you are so desperate to appear responsible, you'll be pleased to hear the cost of that fantastical funeral falls to you. Oh, joy. Miserly, uncharitable dastard, picking and choosing what he inherits. The douche. You reach a new milestone. All age of agriculture. Yay. We got houses and planks. Right, so let's gather up as much. Actually, we could probably go ahead and just gather up all of this shit. 
because all the extra is just going to end up in the harbor. And then once we get a boat, we can just pick it up. See, right there. Father wouldn't have wanted us to sit on our hands while our one prospect was in such a state. So let's gather our townsfolk and ask them to spruce the place up. Yeah, spruce it up. All right, so. Morning is eased. Now we have others for company, sibling. It's been a hard day of labor for us all. We should cater to our tired, hungry people. See what slander Edvard Prince and Bright Sands. Samuel's child, is it? Thank heavens. Oh. I am so ashamed of every single word your uncle had me print. I know, right? What has he got? So, Edvard the Savior. Yeah, okay. Mr. Edvard Good speaks a bold new era for good and sons, nobly bearing the burden, terrible traitor brother dropped at his door. Okay. Traitor dies in mysterious prison. Report Samuel Good couldn't face humiliation of a trial miserable few at funeral still more than Judas ever deserved. You reach a new milestone. That's nice. So, island sail calamity. Empire rocked by sail of tragic island prosperity. Young queen facing first major crisis states to Samuel Good's act of treason. Boy oh boy. He twists every article in his favor at our and father's expense. Right. Get dastardly. Timber, very good. I'll try not to think of the coffin. Timber, his arms wide. Okay, so we already know about the dragon part. Okay. So now, so we need to make us a road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know about the beautification project. Build a fishery. Okay, so one fishery. And yeah, let's stick it right there since the. Help enough to demolish the larger ruins. Let's breathe some life into this place. Alright. Okay, so now we got a fishery. We got some wood. We got some timber. Long hard day. The people need to rest and maybe wet their whistles. So we need to wait for our hundred and fifty farmers. So let's do one of our stamps. We can now, uh, we can actually speed this up a bit. See, so now we're like, we're looking at it. We're at a minus, minus 160. So if we take a look at our finances, sort by amount. Okay, so we got 30 residents. Taking in nothing for taxes. 
Our expenses are at 161 for infrastructure. Small warehouse. Okay. Production buildings. We got one fishery, lumberjack huts, and four sawmills. And one public surface, which is the marketplace. Ah, right, so we are making a grip ton of wood. And, and, but they need 16. We're only providing 15. So that means we may have to put in a little bit more. Our people are very unhappy. So we got the public. Okay, so now we go. We'll put our pub in. Of course, we gotta have a freaking fire station. We're gonna have a pub. Let's see if it's the fire station. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and move these guys down there one spot. We'll get my road. Alright, so the firemen can actually reach all of a spots. So we need to uh Schnapps, eh? Do we have? Okay, so we got potato farm. So we gotta find a place to put the potato farm. Let's put it over here. We'll drop it down there for right now. We'll move it. Throw it right there. And then we need the shots. Okay, where can we put the shots guy? We'll put him right there. Uh, and of course. Put our warehouse yonder. All right, we got some booze going. We see a bunch of booze hounds. So we got sustain across the region. Woo! Look at that. Feels an eternity since the funeral. And the cost! Oh, why, it was extortionate. Yeah, I'll bet. Repay me now, or sell up. Mm. I feel sick to the stomach that Edvard could ask so much of us so soon after Father's death. Your people are recovered and desirous to proceed. Send them to it. We're going to need as much space as we can clear. Ready to repay my charity? Speak to our humble cousin. He writes of a worker riot in Bright Sands. Mm. It seems we are not alone in our contempt for Edvard. Ready to repay my charity? Don't think you're finished, brat. Mm. I loathe the reek of lanolin, but if farmer's smocks are all you have... Is there no limit to Uncle's shameless demands? Hey, 
There we go. Nice little park. All right, so what's what's Unc got to do? So he has to come over here now and find the uncle. We'd rather die than stay. Our flag still wave for Samuel. Let Edvard oppress us no more. Yeah. So we gotta find five rioting mobs. There's one, two, three. What four? Oh, okay, don't be sorry about that. Uh. -uh. So anyway. The mobs. A life away from Edvard? We're on board. Yeah. Only we've no shit to get on board of. Where's the boat? If you pick me, you may have my boat. It's my poor aunt's legacy. Her second husband was a decent sailor. All right. Everybody on board? Good. I, I, I shiver at the thought of staying here another second. What? Has your cleft of the family no shame that it now resorts to abducting my workers? The Queen's ambassador himself shall hear of this. Abduction is a severe accusation. And if I may, uh, excuse me, a false one. We left Edvard quite willingly. Pencil polishing, Poppinjay. I should have been rid of you long ago. I see nothing criminal. A bit of interfamilial bickering is only natural, <laughs> and hardly a matter for the Crown. And as for you, I have quite forgotten my manners. Sir Archibald Blake, ambassador and confidant to the Queen. Despite the circumstances, Her Majesty and I were pleased to hear of your return. Your father's death was a tragedy. We regret he never had the chance of a fair trial. The real tragedy here is the vast funeral bill that goes unpaid while this brat is living the life of O'Reilly. Sadly, your uncle has indeed alerted me to some uh, floating liabilities. I fear you have no choice but to settle them if I am to grant you your crown shipping license. Edvard registered the debt officially. Don't worry. That old tyrant can't hold this back anymore. Indeed. Once my letterpress is up and running, the truth will come back to haunt Edvard. Uh, for your hospitality, please use my ship howsoever you may wish. Now that sounds like good news. Well, see, there we go. Now we got a boat. Oh, there we are. As to the debt, my hands are tied, but it may warm Her Majesty's heart to see a new enterprise taking shape. Indeed. Maybe Edvard will try to prevent us owning a shipyard, but for now, let's at least house those workers. Right. So now, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We got, uh... Okay. Can't do that just yet. But we need four workers' clothes. Alright. So we got knitting station. Oop. Have that one down? No, we don't have that one down yet. We gotta make us a stamp. So we need sheep farm. 
Well, since this is like the agricultural area. No stay and, for it. Let's go ahead and drop us a sheep farm down here. Yep. So, where do we put it? I'm thinking we can put it right there next to the... Next to the pub. I thought it would probably make more sense, I'm thinking. We stuck it next to, uh... Let's take it, let's take it next to the market. So here the question is, is uh, we got we got quite a bit of stuff they're piling up. We got 75. So here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do our. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Okay, we gotta upgrade a residence or work worker place. Okay, so what are we fresh air living here. All right. So we're just waiting on the clothes so we can upgrade. Okay. So we are going to go to our trade routes. Let's make a trade route. The Endeavor, huh? All right, so we want to go from Ditchwater to Uncle Archie. And we'll do wood and planks. But we're not going to do that much. We're, not gonna, we're just going to do five. Okay, we'll just do five a piece. It'll give us a little bit of income. And these guys can keep on working. There goes our, goes our boat over to Archie. Man, he moves quick. You are a credit to the Empire. Hi, sir. Hi. Okay, and how's our, our clothes aren't doing too well. So let's take a look at our expenses and stuff. Well, we got two and they need one, so we're just waiting on delivery. Do we have anything? Does it reach that far? Peddlers say there's nowhere to take it. I see. So. Let's stick us a warehouse right there. That way they got, they got center of town missing. reach. They got their stuff now. Now, what's our resident count? Two hundred and seventy. Oh, now they're providing Tell us taxes. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. You will not spoil my plans with your tardiness. Well, go on, take this shit Tell then. Tell me you've managed. Baba, black sheep. Have you any wool? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Four bags full. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, look at this. We got a quest. You can't make better what's already gold. I have something to put before a townsperson. So we gotta find and collect the farm animals. We'll gather and toast your elf. Mate. 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 Mate makes fly. 
Alright, what does he do? What does he do? So, equip him to a ship. Ooh, self repair at 100%. Navigation and force effects for expeditions. Nice, nice. Very nice. Alright. So, we're gonna, we're gonna. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Slow your roll, buddy. Slow your roll. Okay, we got to pause you. Pause you, pause you. Alright. Wait a minute. How do we do this? Okay, we're gonna switch. Transfer. Items? Oh, no, no. We want him here. Okay. So now, okay, we're gonna unpause. Alright, we'll let you go now. Wee dog! Look at him go. Alright, so we need to upgrade one worker house. Man, we still ain't done no wood. We ain't put up no no wood, nothing. A competitor raised a supplement. Oh shit. Motherfuckers are just blown right past us. Fresh as a daisy here. You reached a new milestone. Industrialization. Okay, gotta clear the abandoned smeltery. Our dream of a shipyard is impossible without plenty of qualified hands. Hmm. Ain't that the thing? Honest that's work. That's all we ask. Alrighty then. So, right here we gotta build this clay pit. Yeah, yeah. Alright, slow it down. Slow it down. We're negative 40 workers. So we're gonna have to upgrade some shit here. All right. So. Okay. So we got. With several passionate young reporters enlisted, our publishing house is already well underway. Awesome. Awesome. So we got our 40 workers. Now we need. We need us a brick house. And we'll put two up there. And of course, we need the obligatory warehouse. And now we need roads. Oh yeah, let's let's do it that way. That one now. Got a settle No, 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 no. No more ruins. Ruin them, hell. Biggity. Alright. Oh, missed one. Yeah, I knew there was one. Oh, there's another beach over here. Hmm. Huh. Never saw that one. Okay, we, we can put something over there. We can put something over there. Let's go ahead and just so I don't forget it. Oh, put me a road. Right across there. And 
got us a road, right? Yeah. Oh no, that's it. It's like a mountain cliff, ain't it? It is. Okay. So let's go. Right there. We got us another pit. We can do that too. Yeah. Huh. Alright. Get that. Them bricks. Hit the bricks, yo. Hit the bricks. Okay, so we need 150 workers. Okay, so we, we want. Ran out. All right. So there we go. So now we're starting to look like a town. Bricks over there. Bricks there. We got bricks there. Alright. Okay. So. Let's go ahead and pause that. We got that one. Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta, we gotta adjust this. us all of that. Now I need to go grab our ship. Okay, we'll just do double speed. So we need 10 more workers, but we got to get more residents first to move in. on wood. Okay, so now... Our editorial section is sure to grow along with your city. We are fine-tuning the first issue as we speak. Right. A competitor raised a settlement. Alright, so we got ten more. You have father's fortitude. These people will follow you as they once followed him. Is that right? Look at that. You reached a new milestone. New city status. We are Port Town. Hey, we're Portland. Your worthless rags have barely covered anything. Now, bring me sails. It's not like you have any use for them. Oh, well, shit. Clearly, Uncle's intention is to keep us from ever owning a shipyard.
Well, there we go. We probably need another sh another sheep farm. We'll go ahead and we'll just copy this one. Now we got two of them. All right, so we need to give him four sails. Oh shit! Get there, mobilize, mobilize. Get out there, get that fire. Where are my sails? Nothing you do will lift the cloud. You can lift these nuts. <laughs> Haven't seen a prison transport of mine, have you? If you do, uh, be sure to return any salvage to me. Oh dear. Put our notification bell on there. Alright, so we got two. Okay, we're doing all right. We're doing good. We're doing good. Okay, so we need. Yeah, it was quick. You got there fast. Saved. Do you also then save us from a grievous injustice? Uh, yeah. Edward's charges against us are pure fabrication. The man is an imposter. If you say letter, so. It bears Edward's seal. Don't even think about sheltering Samuel's co conspirators. Deliver them to prison at once, and I might lift your debt. Open the letter. He's clearly up to no good. Uh. However much we despise Uncle Edvard, it's criminal to go opening his private correspondence. Yeah, well, deal with it. So, man, these dudes. Well, it's a good thing we opened the letter, man. That stuff is jank. Mm-hmm. All right. So, there, there it is there. It cannot be. These names are those father trusted most. Barristers, doctors, academics. Anyone that can prove Even his I am astonished he could be this corrupt. We must put their cases before the highest authority and hope for a retrial. Yeah. He certainly knows how to silence his critics. What is it you are bringing? Bring some stuff. Did he really? Oh dear. Uh, best leave these poor people with me. I will tell Edvard that the debt between you is quite settled. That was none of your business. And what right has the Crown to meddle in my accounts? What right? We are all of us quite moved by your selfless actions. Your father would be proud. I am so relieved our legitimacy is no longer in question. Hurry! I already smell the tar. See, the masts are swaying from father's study. Yeah, look at that. We got us a new building.
our city's historic first shipyard. We must document this moment in our first edition. Absolutely. Oh, we take a photo. There we go. Nice photo of the new ship. The yard. perfect snapshot to illustrate history in the making. Well, look at that. Chapter two. Sign of fire. I think, and with so that... So you build ships like your father. Well, the Queen is in the direst need of ships. Hmm. Supporting so, her will go some way to healing the wounds of the past. A commission for the Royal Fleet? And in such quantity? A rare honour indeed. The weaponry they ask for presents a problem. I'm not even sure we have an iron load, do we? All right, I think, and with that, we'll call that the episode. So, tell me what you thought. If you want to see more. Like, share, subscribe, comment, leave something in the comments if you want to see some more of this one. Uh, I think it's pretty good. Like I said, it's a little complex. Uh, definitely uh, not, not your uh, not your average fare. But, um, man, as I always say, stay living in the worst, y'all. Be happy, healthy, and safe out there in the world. And just know it's a jungle out there. So until next time, stay dangerous. Have a good day.